உங்கள் மீடியா கனவு பணத்தால் தடைப்படுகிறதா தகுதியான நபர்களுக்கு நூறு சதவீதம் வரை ஸ்காலர்ஷிப் படிக்கும் அனைவருக்கும் இன்டர்ன்ஷிப் பிளேஸ்மெண்ட் அசிஸ்டன்ஸ் பாண்டே ஸ்கூல் ஆஃப் ஜேர்னலிசம் ஷார்ட் டர்ம் கோர்ஸில் உடனே சேர பிஎஸ்ஜே டூ த்ரீ ஃபோர் அட் யாஹூ டாட் காம் போன் செவன் டபுள் த்ரீ டபுள் எயிட் டூ ஃபோர் டூ ஃபோர் டூ தினம்தோறும் விளக்கேற்ற நல்ல எண்ணெய் இதயம் நல்ல எண்ணெய் it is it is a pleasure to be amongst the members of the media community and uh, especially in a historical place like bello my aim is uh, to talk to you about uh, the nine years of uh, the government and the center and to tell you as to where we are today because a lot of times certain things get lost otherwise if they are not put out in the correct perspective tamra kavenangala illa oru nera pesirukku okay then inga sandhegam solunga na kekla first first of all first of all uh, let me start by saying that these 9 years of modi government from 30th of may 2014 till now have created unprecedented changes and i'm repeating it unprecedented changes in the country what are these unprecedented changes when we judge any country there are a few things that are taken into account to see what change takes place in a country the first is economy the second is the political setup third is the society or the societal setup that exists in a country any country in the world if we look at uh, the first part economy today india is the only country in the world and i am repeating it india is the only country in the world which is growing at more than 6% growth rate in economy china is at 3 usa is further down below we are the only country and that is why in the world india is seen as a spark of hope for all other economies having said that let me give you a few examples so that uh, it fortifies what i am saying our gdp is presently about 3.75 trillion dollars this uh, 3.75 trillion dollars the first trillion of this economy took 60 years to come the second trillion took about 7 years to come and the remainder has come in about 5 years time of 4 years time this kind of a change has taken place in no other country second our gdp which is 3.75 trillion two third of it two third of it is from domestic market it is not from exports but it is from domestic market which means that your market is strong market allows the country to grow market allows people to grow and in coming years this is going to make a difference in how we grow let me quote another example for you foreign direct investment in the last 9 years every year we have broken a record every year we have broken a record even during covid period when the world was in lockdown we had highest amount of fdi that came in the country now what does fdi imply it implies that anybody who is investing in india trusts you they trust our country they trust the people of this country to 
invest what they have invested in a manner that they get also a profit while you use it for your work and generate profits out of it so that they can get the profits. Hundred and thirty two countries. Hundred and thirty two countries are investing in India. This FDI is from hundred and thirty two different countries. And it is investment is going into sixty one different sectors. Not one or two, not defense, not aviation, not railways, but sixty one different sectors in the country. And it is going to 31 states and union territories combined. That is the width and breadth of our FDI that is coming to us. And it is ensuring that it spurs our economy further. Let us take another uh, field. When we look at our economic growth of this FDI, 90% of this has come through normal route. When I say normal route, it means whatever rules are in existence, whatever rules have been made, it has come through that in a normal manner. No rules have been changed for it. And therefore, it shows the strength of your economy. It shows the strength of your government. Let's take uh, another uh, part of our again uh, economy. 2015, the government launched the startup program. At that time, we had 428 registered startups. Today, after 2015, you as a country are number three in the world where unicorns are concerned, meaning thereby the businesses which are more than crore plus. You are number two where the number of startups in the country are concerned. And you are number one where startups every day is concerned. What does it mean? It shows an aspirational India. It shows an aspirational youth. It shows the chances that the youth is getting to grow in the country, which means that in coming years, you are going to benefit by the enterprising nature of our youth. Let's take what I talked of as the societal changes. Every scheme that has been made by the government of India in the last nine years touches every section of the society. It does not discriminate against caste, creed or religion. Everybody who fits into that parameter of qualification for that particular scheme will get the benefit. Whether it is 9 crore gas connections that were given, whether it is almost 3 crore houses that have come under Prime Minister's uh, Avas Yojana, every scheme, whether it is Jal Jeevan Mission, where water is being supplied, potable drinking water by pipes is being supplied in the rural areas, every scheme is touching every section of the society which is what strengthens the society, which ensures stability in the society and which ensures that the growth of the country will take place. Another thing which a lot of people in the world do not notice, your election system is such that almost 10 lakh booths, almost more than 90 crore people who vote or who are registered voters, out of which 60 crores vote, and all this voting exercise goes without any flaw. <coughs> all those who have read management, I will classify it as 6 sigma triple X. That is the quality of our election system. Shows maturity and stability of our political system. 
you will hear the complaints but most of those complaints are found to be wrong otherwise this system has been going on and it has been praised the world over when we look at uh, our uh, political system federal cooperation is working despite some noises to the contrary otherwise wherever a state has to work it is working as per the state requirement and wherever center has to intervene it is working as per that requirement as per the constitution shows the maturity of our political system over a period of time which means stability in the country which means good for the people so that they can grow and mind you in these 9 years these phenomenal changes have created various things which never happened before that for example the prime minister said in 2014 that we care for our women especially in rural areas we want to ensure that they get the respect they should not go for open defecation and every house should have a toilet 3 years time this was achieved today there is no village which has got open defecation next year he said that there are 18000 villages which haven't got electricity since independence again in less than 3 years time all 18000 villages were electrified earlier you had roads which were being constructed at a rate of almost 6 kilometers a day today you have got roads which are being constructed at 38 kilometers a day and the road network is second largest after after usa and we are very sure that by next year we would be at par with usa and next year after that we will cross whatever usa has. and these roads are quality roads there is a road which goes from nearby you which goes from chennai to bangalore there are there were problems in between because of certain clearances from the state the date is completed you can travel from chennai to bangalore in 2 hours you need not take the aircraft same is true for all our roads all manufacturing hubs have been connected all border areas have been connected all districts are being connected with national highways all ports are connected you pick up any area it has been connected with good roads same is true for our railway infrastructure 2014 and earlier you had only 33% of railway routes which were electrified today you have got 96% route routes that have been electrified look at the difference you had only 74 airports till 2014 today you have got 148 airports this is the type of development that has taken place in every possible area you also have defense capability where modernization has taken place where indigenization is taking place and today you have a leadership that has been able to withstand pressure from any country that has tried to look at us in a manner which is not good for us you look at our manufacturing capability today we are manufacturing a large number of apple mobiles you look at the type of data that we use when uh, digital india was started in 2016 we were 122 rating in the world today you are number 1 in the use of data and the amount of data that you use data is the cheapest in india in in the world and you are number 2 where the number of mobiles are concerned the amount of data that you use is more than what china and america use that is the amount of data that you are using and almost 
fifty percent of digital transactions in the world are happening in India. That is our strength. Digital transaction implies a great amount of transparency that takes place in the transactions that happen. So, all in all, if we look at how India has done in the last nine years, it shows unprecedented changes that have taken place. It shows growth. It shows infrastructure that has grown. It shows the way people are benefiting from it, and it shows that our future is much more brighter than any other country. And the last piece of data that I want to give you is till 2070. India is going to have the youngest profile with an average age between 27 to 29. Implication is that if we train our youth, if we skill them, then the world is going to source its human resource from India, and it is India and its youth that are going to do well. So, having said this, I don't think there is anything else required. I'll field whatever questions you have. Thank you very much. Value Airport, Airport was made at a time when some airlines had promised that they will utilize this airport. That is why we made the terminal. We ensured that it comes up as fast as possible. The Uran scheme caters for airlines to bid for the route. unfortunately after having told us that they want to fly to velour from various places in the country those airlines have either gone underground or they they have stopped talking about taking routes to velour our aim is to start it as soon as possible we are trying to persuade the airlines please also understand that airlines are today not controlled by the government of india they are free enterprises they have to assess their own profits and technical parameters to fly on a particular route therefore it is taking a little time but we are at it and we are sure that an important place like velour which has vit which has the medical facilities which otherwise is not as well connected as we would like it to be in tamil nadu we would like the flights to come as fast as possible Your district has to demand it. I'm quite sure the center is very liberal in providing it, and they will provide. I don't think the demand has gone. It takes a little time in processing it. I have also been demanding two schools for my gym, my district. The the file file moves. rather slowly because amongst all the changes one little change that is still to take place is how to hasten up these files to move the ring was the toll gate uh, it's been modified as yeah. you said before that the toll gates are uh, it's been to be modified as uh, toll gates are getting modified we are already doing a pilot program our aim is early by early next year some routes we will change and then start implementing all other routes it will be based on satellite oblique gps oblique the camera that will take a photograph of your vehicle the registration plate is already registered with us we already have that data i'm sure if you have uh, uh, crossed the speed limit and you have got a chalan you know that your data is available in the repository that exists so based on this data when you enter the national highway which is tolled whatever distance you travel on that when you exit that distance will be calculated it will be the money will be deducted from the account that you link with this particular vehicle of yours so there will be no barriers there will be no stopping the vehicle there will be nobody who will check your vehicle it is already you have entered it is already registered with us when you leave again it is photographed it is registered with us all that you will come to know is that certain amount of money has gone from your bank 
Sir, how do you feel about today's convocation program? Governor, welcome and all the arrangements. Sir, how do you, how do you feel, feel about, about today's convocation is held in our place, <laughs> in our university? Thiruvallur University, we can conversation. Do you have anything to say? So it is a good program. Thiruvallur University is doing well. This is the 17th convocation. Very large number of students got their uh, degrees. And uh, I personally, having attended many convocations, I found the program to be very good. Sir, in India, we have many national highways, but not proper roads, set by Rahul Gandhi. I don't know what he wanted to say because a lot of times I get confused by what he said. You have many national highways. There are state highways which the states have to look after. There are certain amount of money which the states take from the center to upgrade their state highways which comes under central road infrastructure fund which is also given and we monitor as to where that money goes so that the roads come up and not something else comes up. So, if he is travelled on a road which is not national highway and is a state highway and it has not been done up by that state, I think it will be in fitness of things for him to ask that state as to why that particular road has not been done. If the toll gates are on national highway, when you put a toll gate, the tolling system is a worldwide system. It is not unique to India. It is a worldwide system. Why a toll is taken is if you are using a good thing, you pay higher for it. If you take the normal uh, ice cream which is on a stick, you pay less. If you take it in a cone, it costs you a little more, which is better. So, if a road is better and it has been constructed by national highways, obviously a certain amount of toll is charged for maintenance of that road. Ultimately, we want to make more roads and make the roads that much better. Tall. Or we are talking on the necessity of toll. They ask me. Experience of toll. See what is happening is unfortunately, national highway cannot run all the tolls. We tender out the tolls. Some person takes it, who is a local from that area, he runs that toll, and we have got a system. If you feel that a person is not behaving properly, you have got a number, you have got a Twitter account. Let us know immediately we get after that person who got the toll from us. And we deduct his money and we ensure that he provides you better services. But if you don't complain, it becomes very difficult for us to monitor.